What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step by step on how to draw Groot. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. Starting from the very top, we're just gonna work our way around towards the bottom of the eye and just pull that back up towards the top. Now let's leave a large gap in between the eyes and draw the same thing on the right. So line up the top of that circle, just bring that down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Now we're gonna add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So up against the edge of the eye, it's gonna bring in that circle and then bend that back out and then line that up on the right side. And then we'll fill the bottom half of the eyes in black. Let's add a small fold underneath the eyes. We're going to step down, curve this down and out. And I'll move to the center, step down and draw the mouth. Starting over on the left, curve the mouth coming down and then up. And I'll add a short line on either side. Let's add a fold underneath the mouth in the center for the lower lip. Now I'm going to go back up and draw on the eyebrows. On the outside of the eye, we're going to step up, curve the eyebrow going up and bending that in. And line this up on the right, going out and then down. Now that we've drawn in the face, let's move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, we're going to step out, just going to draw a large half circle. We're going to come down and in underneath the mouth, round out the chin, and pull that up on the right. And then from here, we're going to work our way up towards the top of the head. Starting back on the left, let's bump this out, and then go up, curve this up and in, and draw a straight line coming down towards the eye. Halfway along this line, we're going to add a crack, going up towards the top, then this up and in, and we'll draw another straight line coming down. Now from this top corner, step down, curve this out, and then up. Round up the top, coming down towards the side. Come down, and then we'll just bend that in. And then going back up to the top, step down, draw a short angle line coming down towards the side. Go straight up. Bend this out, and then down. And then draw another line coming down. In the top corner, we're going to step down, draw a curve going out, and then down towards the side of the head. And to close this off, come down and just bend that in towards the right side. Let's add a little bit of wood texture along the top. Starting on the left, draw a short line coming down. Work our way across towards the right. And once we complete the head, we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start over on the left side, just underneath the head, curve the body going out, and then down towards the hip, line this up on the right, go out, and then down towards the same height. Let's add some texture to the body. In the center, underneath the chin, step over towards the right, curve this down and across towards the left side, and from the center, go out and up on the left. Now going over towards the left side, draw a short curve coming in, about halfway down, draw a straight angle line coming down across the body, curve this out and then up. Now we're going to continue that wood texture going out towards the right hip. So we step in, draw a short line coming down, step up, go across, bend this down and out, and pull this up towards the right. Let's add a little bit of texture along the left side. Start with a short curve coming in, and then going out, and then from the hip, draw one more curve. 
Now from the hips, we're gonna move to the center, step down at a curve, from left to right, going up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, cut the leg going out and then down toward the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, put this down and up towards the outside. And then from the outside of the foot, we're gonna draw a curve aiming towards the center of the body. So we're gonna go up and just bend that in. Let's go back up to the hips. We're just gonna tuck this out and then down in behind the side of the leg. Now let's add some more texture to the legs. Start from the heel, because it's up and out on both sides. And then along the bottom, I'm just gonna add a couple lines going up. From the outside leg, step up, we're gonna follow that curve, going up and in. And then from the heel, we'll step up, go another curve going out. Let's add a little bit more texture on the right side to curve. And then from the hips, we're just going to curve this in and then down, aiming towards the center of the body. Now we're going to move back up and draw in the arms. Let's start halfway between the chin and the hip. So starting right here, put the inside of the arm going out and down towards the thumb. And then from the wrist, we'll draw a half circle from the thumb close off the end with a bracket. Let's add three fingers on either side. Starting underneath the thumb, we come down and up around that bracket. Step down, come down and up. And then the third finger will start on the side, going out, bend the arm coming up and in underneath the head. Now you want to add some texture to the arms. Starting from the inside of the wrist, start by curving this out and then up towards the side. Let's go up to the shoulder, bend this around and then in. Let's go to the outside of the arm, bend this down and in towards the hand. Now we're going to finish this off by adding some leaves around the outside. Let's start from the outside of the left arm, bend this out and up towards the top. Just curve in the opposite direction towards the arm. Let's add one on the right wrist. Add another one on the left leg along the side. Add one more on the right side, going down and then back up. And now we're gonna grab some markers and I'll show you how to color this in. We're gonna start by filling in the head and the body with this light beige. And then using a slightly darker color, we'll add some shadows across the body. Starting underneath the eyes, and then the bottom of the head. And then using our green to fill in each of those leaves. And then the last thing we'll do is sign our artwork, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color Groot. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.